After several attempts at changing the subject, it took a significant amount of time to reshoot. Finally, Captain America and a bolder world are ready to take a closer look. In this video, let's revisit the movie and analyze all the information we received from the teaser of Brave New World. What events await Sam Wilson in the first phase of holding the title of Captain America? Without further delay, let's get started. Based on the introduction, Brave New World will draw from two main sources, the 2008 movie, The Incredible Hulk, and the world's background after the events of The Secret Invasion. For longtime fans of the Marvel Cinematic Universe, it will be a thrilling summary of the Civil War material and the internal struggles following the Winter Soldier. Let's first discuss the chaos within the human race. The search for Nick Fury's scroll source has led to General Ripson ordering the evacuation of all extraterrestrial beings from Earth. This not only affects the scroll, but also the Asgardians who are facing the destruction of their home. From this chaotic perspective, it appears that Ripson has been abandoned, leading to the election where General Thanos, Bob Ross, is determined to win. Are you ready for roasted pork? In the early days of his career, Sam Wilson was frustrated with his job as a teacher and had to work as a secretary. Before that, Thunderbolt Ross was often portrayed as a strong leader, willing to take tough actions to protect humanity. Events such as the Sokovia Accords, which caused a rift between Tony Stark and Steve Rogers, and ultimately created favorable conditions for Thanos to gain power in Infinity War, highlight Ross's commitment to his cause. Surprisingly, the relationship between General Ross and Sam was better than initially thought. It could be because Ross had a change of heart about superheroes, or simply because they both had military backgrounds. In the teaser, Sam meets Ross and mentions that he is still getting used to his new appearance. This is a nod to the character's iconic look in the Marvel Cinematic Universe. However, fans mistakenly interpreted it as a reference to Rickard Harrison Ford's portrayal of General Ross. The purpose of this event is to celebrate the victory over Adamantium, a mission that the new Captain America team has successfully accomplished. At the end of the secret invasion, President Wilson created an arms race that was waiting to explode in Black Panther's Wakanda Forever. Every organization and country coveted the vibranium in order to establish their own power. However, invading Wakanda and stealing its resources proved to be a difficult task. In Brave New World, it is rumored that the powerful have discovered a new substance called adamantium, believed to have originated from Tiamat, the celestial shadows. This precious element was first discovered in the fossils of the Eternals. Japan was one of the first countries to harness the power of adamantium, using it to create snake-like bodies. This metal is said to possess the ability to withstand the formidable strength of the Hulk. In the film, Kang Gwyn brings all the villains to Wakanda, making it the ultimate showdown for power and control. In the upcoming re-release, Ross remains unimpressed with superheroes, but his successful partnership with Captain Sam Wilson has gradually shifted his perspective on the world. The president has proposed the reinstatement of Captain America into the military, mirroring the government's actions during World War II with Steve Rogers. The teaser only hinted at Ross's sincerity, but the footage shown by Marvel Studios at CinemaCon revealed the missing part of the dialogue. Specifically, the president asked Captain America to rebuild the Avengers team, which had ceased working since the end of Endgame. The meeting between Carol Danvers, Bruce Banner, and Wong at the end of Sanji was simply colleagues discussing their work. In Ross's teaser, he used his collaboration with Captain America as a tool to further his election campaign, as shown by the message together on the screen. Now, if Sam Wilson forms the Avengers team, it will not justify the government's surveillance under the Sokovia Accords. Realizing the president's true intentions, Sam only called for both sides to come together once again. The major distinction is that a civil war is highly unlikely to occur again, as Captain America will now have to confront a catastrophic threat known as the Red Hawk, which has never been seen before in history. The party continued until the siren suddenly blared. The president's speech was cut short by an angry tune. The music abruptly stopped, triggering the activation of the winter military regime inside Asia Bradley. A massacre ensued as Asia grabbed guns from the guards and fired continuously at targets, excluding Thunderbolt Ross. While Hydra has always been associated with brainwashing, this particular organization was clean in the MCU. 
Therefore, its existence was kept a secret and later used to gain access to the Ross network, which is quite disturbing. Sam Wilson, of course, attempted to intervene. The highlight of the chaos was Asia Bradley, a super soldier who, despite his old age, valiantly fought and killed all enemies in his way before escaping through a window. As he guided the president to the White House security cell, Sam Wilson was concerned that there may be traitors within. This was when events from The Incredible Hulk were linked to the film. According to sources, Samuel Stearns, a young man with gamma blood in his head, will play the role of the leader, the main antagonist who leads a chaotic show in the great new world. Samuel has fulfilled his ambition to create an army of Hulks, while Thunderbolt Ross, who transforms into the Red Hulk, is part of his plan. The plot follows the story of the Winter Soldiers, created by Asia Bradley, and also features the presence of the leader. Samuel is also believed to be responsible for the shocking assassination at the White House. Throughout the teaser, Sam Wilson and Torres visit a research facility filled with red lights. To the viewer, it is clear that the chair symbolizes the situation that Bucky is being placed in, so it is best not to jump to conclusions. The leader's laboratory is situated in the adjacent area. Torres was concerned that they were both walking into a trap, and it ultimately proved to be true. Shortly after, a series of images depicted Sam Wilson's struggle to break free from the lab. It is noteworthy that Sam was attacked by a soldier, which could mean two possibilities. Either the leader is working under the government's command, or a spy has betrayed Ross by posing as a high-ranking official. The second scenario seems more probable, as the new Cap Falcon duo was lured to the scene by the leader in an attempt to justify a crime. One of the most prominent images in the teaser suggests that a grand funeral took place. The person invited must be a character with a lot of influence. Based on the list of characters, including Sam Wilson, Valentina, the director of the CIA, and Perry, played by Liv Tyler, it is highly likely that the character in the coffin is Ross, unless Marvel Studios introduces a new character related to all of the aforementioned faces. This would explain why Perry is present to say goodbye. The teaser also provides hints about the plot of the story. After the events of The Incredible Hulk, the leader is forced to work for the government, specifically General Ross, due to concerns about Tia Gamma. This theory is supported by the fact that Sam is attacked by military soldiers in the villain's laboratory. Despite Samuel's dissatisfaction, Gat somehow found an opportunity to overthrow the US government by creating an army called the Hawks. In order to achieve this, the leader must find a way to convince General Ross to participate in the experiment to transform into a Red Hawk. The plot eventually leads to an assassination attempt at the White House, where Ross realizes the shifting balance of global power. In order to survive, he must come to terms with the fact that he may have to embrace the monster he has spent his entire life trying to defeat. It is not surprising that Senmu used his employer's mindset to deceive him by devising a plan to make Red Hawk disappear. He made it seem like Falcon was responsible and framed him for being willing to take Red Hawk as his pawn. This could potentially be attributed to General Ross orchestrating a scheme to gain leverage, or perhaps the true leader behind President Ross manipulating him. These are all just theories, as the Abyss is attempting to implicate Ross. After winning a series on Disney+, Plus, Sam Wilson proved that he is worthy of the title that Captain America Steve Rogers left behind. The next challenge for him is to establish his own path and gain recognition, similar to what Bucky and the rest of the team have done in the past. General Ross carries the weight of subjective opinion more than anyone else. You may be Captain America, but you're not Steve Rogers. The symbol of Captain America will always be greater than any individual who wears the suit. Unlike Steve Rogers, Sam Wilson does not possess superpowers or a super soldier's strength, nor does he have a well-known background. On the other hand, John Walker has all the perfect conditions to be a successful Captain America. So, how far have we seen a Captain America go? It's unlikely that Sam will ever reach the same level of greatness as Steve Rogers. Heroism alone cannot bring out the values that make a true Captain America. This is Sam Wilson's journey as Captain America, and let's not forget that, according to the MCU timeline, he has contributed for 16 years to reach this point. A Captain America film cannot be complete without the love and support of the main actor, as well as the everyday necessities provided by their family. In the first installment, Sam Wilson will soon discover this for himself. 
The female soldier appeared alongside the male soldier in multiple frames, including the funeral of General Ross. Throughout the teaser, Captain America's costume has undergone several changes, beginning with the white suit from the end of Falcon and Winter Soldier, and ending with a striking appearance as the US captain. The concept of reusing old materials is not very effective, so the Black Panther franchise may have hindered progress. People will support Sam Wilson's vibranium armor to safeguard against the Red Hawk's power source. It's not the main character, but it's enough to excite any audience. It's Giancarlo Esposito's Kao Tsun, the chicken seller turned villain from Breaking Bad in the MCU. The teaser for Brave New World gave us our first glimpse of Esposito's character, a super cool hired soldier with a weapon that, that can cause terrible injuries, targeting Sam Wilson. The image is impressive, but it doesn't reveal much about the horror movie's plot or Kao Tsun's role in it. The appearance of CEO Stan Edgar, played by Esposito, between the setting of Red Hawk and the assassination of Isaiah Bradley has sparked speculation about his role as the main antagonist. Similar to the Captain America movies, where the hero faces enemies on their first mission, such as Crossbones or Batroc. Interestingly, the image shown in the movie theater seems to be a reference to the Serpent Society, a group that Kao Tsun may be a part of. What significance does this have for the character's role? The organization has officially announced the addition of two new members, Rosa Salazar, Thuvai Diamondback, and Seth Rollins, who is famous for leaving WWE to join Cobra. You may recognize the name Serpent Society, which was the original title for Captain America's Civil War. This was used by Kevin Feige to mislead the media and fans worldwide. It is unclear what plans the leaders have for involving Sam Wilson with the public. There are rumors of a secret meeting with Valentine. As for Esposito, the most widespread rumor is about his transfer as George Washington Bridge. In the comics, Bridge is a hired mercenary with a secret connection to S. Heald. He is also a key figure in communicating with mutants, thanks to his relationship with Cable. We can better understand Esposito's perspective now. No matter who he becomes, Marvel Studios will not waste his talent on a single project. Therefore, the more open-minded a principle is, the more beneficial it is for the MCU. This cinematic universe spans from the multiverse to constant threats on the street, and it requires versatile and talented individuals like him. This is the summary of way to wears analysis and prediction of the first teaser for Captain America Brave New World. We want to make sure we haven't missed any important details, so please feel free to comment below and let us know. Thank you for watching our video. This is way to wear Signing off.